Hi guys, Michael with you here and in this video I'm showing you a bit more about what I've been doing with Android. So basically I've been following along with the A-Star pathfinding algorithms on 3D Buzz and I've implemented the whole thing which was originally done in XNA but I've decided to target Android which means basically porting it to Java and making it Android-y. So this kind of follows on from my previous behavior video port so a lot of the code's the same so I've got this joystick for controlling um, and I've implemented basically how the A-Star works. So we can see it works just like it did before. When someone, when he gets in the view of the enemy, um, the enemy will start chasing. Um, I can display the, it's a bit hard to see on the screen I think, but the path that it's calculating each time gets displayed on the screen. I don't know if you can tell in the video, um, the, flight, the frame rate takes a real dive when I turn on the path display. The reason is I'm not doing any kind of sprite batching or anything and basically I'm lim hitting the limit of Android in terms of draw calls um, that you can do before the system grinds to a halt. So um, I need to implement some sprite batching type thing to um, reduce the number of calls that gets made. Um, so and as when he hits he has to run down to the health down in the corner here just like um, with the XNA version. So that's it, everything implemented in Java on targeting Android with OpenGL. And here's the editor guys also running uh, on the Nexus 1. So basically same functionality as what the XNA desktop version of the editor has except I had to change how the interaction works to actually work with just a um, touch screen and a couple of buttons. So I've got the uh, volume control keys along the bottom here to change the mode. So at the moment we're in select mode but if I do press up, we're changing the mode that you can see the text in the left hand um, updating. So what we can do is we can delete nodes and the connections go between, disappear between them. We can add new nodes in, so if I switch back to insert and we can insert nodes. When we're done with the insert, we press the um, trackball button and it'll it will actually put those nodes in. We can then make new connections so I can join this um, the reason I'm having trouble touching is not because the um, touch screen is non-responsive it's because I'm trying to um, do precise manipulations while looking through the uh, viewfinder on my camera. So if I add some more we can join those three together and when I press enter or the touchable button that joins them all together. Um, if I go down to select mode it allows us to select one or more and then if I go to move it allows us to drag them around and place new nodes. Now in the XNA videos of course they um, had load and save dialogues. I couldn't be bothered doing this in Android so basically it loads um, and saves the same file each time the program runs um, which is fine for this debug thing. Um, I mean, really, the editor on Android is probably not the best way to go in a production game because you don't have a lot of um, control fine grain with fine grain manipulation using just the uh, touch screen. But it works perfect um, for this example. So with that, that basically showcases um, how, in fact, you can port the XNA videos to Android implemented in Java. Thanks a lot.